read from 2008 based on a Jack Ketchum novel is an underrated, overlooked movie that one should definitely seek out to watch if one has not done so. Hey everyone, I am Jan Mann. Red, as I mentioned earlier, is based on a Jack Ketchum novel. And if you are not familiar with Jack Ketchum, he's often ascribed to writing horror. However, I would more accurately describe his work as things that occur in them are horrific, but they're often based on real things, meaning that there usually aren't monsters and vampires and, and that kind of stuff. It's all monstrous in the everyday. And this is no exception, though it's not as hard-hitting and something that really pushes the envelope like The Girl Next Door, even though that movie is based on a true event. This one is about an older man, played by Brian Cox. He is fishing one day with his dog, Red. Some boys come out there and they are armed with guns and they try to rob him before they leave they end up spoiler alert kill his dog this is a dog that he's very close to has a lot of personal attachment to and the movie becomes about him trying to get these kids who for the most part showed no regard for him or that dog's life, killing the dog in cold blood, he is out to get them to admit, at a minimum, that they did wrong and apologize. However, these kids, particularly the one kid, the ring leader of the group, he is not held accountable whatsoever by his father, played by Tom Sizemore, and it shows over the course of the movie why he is so disrespectful and darn near hateful because his father has essentially let him get away with anything and is one of these parents that his kid does no wrong and will stand up for his kid no matter what. The acting throughout this movie is just great. It is top notch, especially Tom Sizemore who plays the dad and even more so, Brian Cox, who plays Ludlow, the older man whose dog is killed. The young actor who plays Danny, who is the son of the Tom Sizemore character, he is also very good. He does an amazing job at making you, or at least me, wanting to slap that kid. You know what a t-shirt says, a uh, property of... Stolen from. Stolen from. Stolen from uh, May's Whorehouse. You want a shirt like that? If I did, I'd probably wear it. Based on the summary I've given for this movie, one wouldn't think that it could sustain itself over 90 minutes or so, but it certainly does. This is a very riveting, infuriating at times movie because it certainly has something to say about the lack of parenting and the crisis that it can cause because that is what happens. You have a man whose animal that he loved, pet he loved, has been killed in cold blood, and it meant so much to him, and he's just trying to get a kid to recognize that. Look, look, this is what you did, your thoughtlessness in that moment, but no matter what, the kid will not take it seriously. He just thinks it's, it's a joke, and his father backs him up. You know, his father won't do anything, tries to pay him off or something like that. That's it. And the Ludlow character knows that that is wrong and he wants some semblance of justice. And so the movie just escalates and escalates and escalates. And you can see exactly why and how each one rise to this crisis at the end where it leads to them trying to kill each other. Some people don't want to watch a movie about uh, an animal being killed. They'd rather see people being killed than the animal. And it's not pleasant as portrayed in this movie to watch, but there is a great story around this and it, and it matters significantly to the plot. The movie very much has its heart in the right place. And by the end, when Ludlow realizes how extreme that he's taken things, 
there's a lot of mixed emotions about that. You can feel his sadness that it got to that point and the regret that it got to that point and how living with that is going to be just as difficult perhaps as living with the way his own troubles with his own son that's revealed earlier in the movie has sort of plagued him as well. The movie also caps off with a very sweet, very optimistic note as well that works just right. If there is one little flaw of this movie to be had, it would be the element that is introduced about Ludlow's son and what happened. While it makes sense as to why he might escalate to the point as that he does, as the movie goes on, it gives him a foundation as to why he would take it to that extreme. At the same time, on some level, that story really isn't needed because I think the events that unfold could have just unfolded naturally without that, and it would have been fine without it. So it's, it's on one hand, it, it helps the story, but on another hand, it almost brings what's being told to a halt so that he can reflect back and tell this narrative about what happened with his son. Otherwise, this movie is great. Well-performed, very well-performed, well-directed. There is a very powerful message here that is both haunting, infuriating, and satisfying, and kind of sweet. <laughs> 